What's up everybody? Can't see me yet. It's because the sun's not up and the lights are powering up. This is Ryan Murphy with Murphy Baseball Performance. For those of you who know me, thank you for tuning in. For those of you who don't know me, I'm gonna be ex excited, energetic, passionate about success. Baseball is the medium I talk about a lot. I talk about business and sales, that's my job by day. But I don't care what it is, ballet, soccer, teaching, nursing, it doesn't matter what it is as long as you're passionate about it. Success, the habits that create success, carry over between mediums. So that's what I talk about because my life has been changed for the better by surrounding myself with people who are better than I am, who are really focused on deliberate success, and who have taught me habits that have helped to change the level of success that I've had over the course of time. So four years ago, I was picking up trash for a construction company. Um, my first real job out of, out of school, and I was just fortunate to have it. I was a contractor, I was getting paid about $12 an hour, and uh, I had plenty of time to sleep. I didn't start my day till 12. I was still training for the, the big leagues, because that was my goal, but in reality, I wasn't all in, man. So I told everybody that I made the same excuses everybody else makes about why I wasn't successful, and then I turned on an Eric Thomas video, and I started to listen to how he discussed uh, how, how rich people wake up early and how when he started to, Eric Thomas, if you don't know him, he was a homeless guy who is now uh, travels the world, motivational speaker. He's fantastic. You can feel his energy. It's tangible. It's real. And uh, he started talking about how people, everybody's got the same 24 hours. And so the success ultimately comes down to what do you do with your 24? And if, if I started to buy into the idea that, wait a minute, I can control my 24, I can... I can control when I wake up. He told he said, "Hey man, I wasn't I wasn't happy about waking up early when I first started it." He started at six o'clock, did that for a year. Five o'clock, did that for a year. Four o'clock, now he's three o'clock. Right? Does he do it every day? Who knows? But he's doing it enough because he's successful now. Homeless man to now he's got his PhD. It took him 12 years to get a four-year degree. Check him out. He's freaking unbelievable. But how can this apply to you? This can apply to you because. Every single success leaves clues. And so I don't care if it's night owl, if you're a night owl like some people are, and you stay up all night to be successful, like my buddy Victor. Victor's up late working. Okay, great, that's fine, he's putting in the time. You gotta do it on the back end or the front end though. If you're expecting to have tremendous different success than the people that you have around you, and you're watching a video right now, dude, it ain't gonna just fall into your fucking lap, all right? It's got to be something you go take every single day, every fucking day. There is no days off. There is no, oh, I'll wait till tomorrow. There is no, oh, I got to be reasonable. Like, fuck reasonable. You don't have time for reasonable, okay? Another formative experience in my life was when my parents got split up. I was 19 years old. I had just finished my freshman year of college, um, and I, I was the oldest kid, and I felt like my world was, had collapsed around me. Um, I felt like it was my responsibility to be an example for my older brother or for my younger brother and sister and So I realized I could either take all this rage that I have about the fact that my family is no longer together And again, I'm, I have no illusions about the fact that everybody has their battles So I, I don't say that to complain I just want to explain to you where the passion came from and where the why came from that got me started on this journey for success and it was that it was realizing I wasn't safe anymore all right realizing I wasn't safe and that I had to save myself if I was gonna have a chance to make it in the world and create an opportunity for my family to enjoy life to to be financially secure to be able to pay for things related to health insurance to be able to pay for things related to just basic necessities food things like that we were fortunate we had a lot of family bail us out but I hated that feeling I never wanted to feel like that again and so I made a decision and I kept making decisions day after day that no matter what, I was going to keep waking up and pounding the shit out of whatever it was I was going to do. I was going to punch the world in the face every single day, no matter what everybody told me was possible or not, no matter what I felt like on a given day. It didn't matter if it was Christmas, birthday, whatever. I was going to wake up and punch it in the face. Baseball? I'm so tired of hearing guys say, oh, well, you know, yeah, like, I work pretty hard, and, or, oh, no, well, he's never going to work as hard as you, Ryan. Guess what? At 16 years old, I was a lazy piece of shit, 
okay? I was comfortable, I felt safe. I was disconnected from my goals. I had no idea how to set goals. My goal was to play professional baseball, D1 baseball. I didn't even know what it took. Okay, it took me having to go to tryouts and, and showcases and throw money away, like I see a ton of people doing, because, and then finding out, oh shit, you mean my measurables aren't even close to D1? You mean I'm 76 miles an hour, I need to be 91? And then what's the response I got from people? Oh man, oh, sorry Rye, you just don't have it, dude. And I'm sitting there scratching my head going, what? This can't be right. I knew where I was going. I knew I was going to the big league since I was a little kid. But I just got hit with reality that holy shit, like, I'm not even close. And then I had people tell me, you're just not gonna get it. That's not possible to change that trajectory at this point. And so I didn't stop searching, all right? My brother stopped, didn't stop searching either. He's, he reached out, he, we found out, for Googled Velocity. Like that was our goal, play Major League Baseball. So we're like, what do we need? Velocity, search, okay? Did we get it right away? Absolutely not. We started to dabble, okay? 16 years old is when we started to dabble. It takes 10,000 hours of deliberate practice to become world class. So if you're talking division one or professional or elite at anything you do, 10,000 hours of deliberate practice, focused practice, measured practice, the practice that nobody else that you know does, the practice that Beethoven executed on, the practice that the world's greatest athletes execute on, that Warren Buffett executes on, 10,000 hours breaks down to six hours a day, five hours a day, six days a week for 10 years. Okay, think about how many people you know that are, that are really world class at what they do. And the answer is you don't know many because the most people, most of the people you know are pumping out TGIF, yeah, it's Friday, woo, it's Friday, I can't wait to chill this weekend, yeah, chilling's so much fun. Dude, that is, uh, like at this point, no way. Like don't get me wrong, I like to have a good time, but when, I, when it's time to take vacation, I get anxious. Okay, and it's not because I'm better than anybody and it's not because I don't want to spend time with my family But it's because I have this constant never-ending internal wheel turning to say hey like what, What's my next what, what should I be doing now? What, what's gonna get me to my next success? How am I gonna get to the next level to protect my family? How am I gonna get to the next level to create the life and the vision that I have for myself? How am I gonna get to the next level so that I can provide a better quality experience for everybody who trusts me with developing their goals and helping them set their goals and tech their goals like constant 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 and people call it obsession and people call it crazy but if you study greatness like I've studied greatness and good news is this audiobooks abundantly available YouTube interviews abundantly available we've got more opportunity now to benchmark the world's best than ever before so if you're not doing it it's because you're lazy that's it you are lazy there is no other reason why, okay? And I get why you're lazy. I was lazy too. But what I'm telling you is, once you get started and you really get lit up and you have that ignition and you feel this and, and you know what your why is, your goals, your why, you start to write them down, you chase them every day, there is no turning back. There is no turning back. And what you find is you get resistance, people will make fun of you, people will push back on you. You need that. Dude, if you're at your high school practice and people aren't making fun of you, something's wrong. Because guess where your high school teammates are probably going? Nowhere. In terms of baseball, that's just the reality. So if you're at work and you're trying to really go to work and you're trying to get after it, okay? Like one of the things one of my buddies, Garrett Ledford, when we first started at ADP, everybody would, oh, Garrett's, uh, Garrett never wants to talk. Oh, Garrett, well, yeah, he doesn't want to talk because he's, he's at his desk with his headphones in because he's working. Because he understands that every minute is taking him closer to his next sale, his next opportunity to help a client, or taking him further away. So he's not going to waste time talking about things that don't matter. Talking about things that aren't going to contribute to him achieving his goals. And so, again, it's just a medium. Sales, baseball, volleyball, golf, music. It doesn't fucking matter. What matters is knowing where you want to go and going after it. And when you get punched in the face, deciding to stand up, learn from whatever happened, and go again, and go again, and go again. Every single day. That's success, okay? It feels like a lot more failure than success. You look back over the course of time. Dude, I'm 28. Nine years ago, I was throwing 78 miles an hour, top number, all right? And it feels like I failed a ton, and I have failed a ton, okay? But so when people call me successful or give me a compliment, it feels great, but I don't feel like that. I don't feel like I've made it. I don't feel like I've made anything. I'm proud of what I've done, but there's more. There's more to go get and there'll always be more. So if you're up on Saturday and you're up early and you're thinking about going to do something and taking action on your goals, start now, man. Start now. 
And it's gonna start with you getting your mind around what it is you wanna do, why you're willing to push through the, the challenges that are come to get to it, and then start to take care of the way that you eat, the way that you sleep, the way that you think, so that you can have consistent energy. Guess what, you get sick, and that's three days out of work, you don't have time to get sick. Like you don't, you, I can't tell you the last day that I had to stay home sick from work. And it's not because I sleep more than anybody else, it's not because I wash my hands more than anybody else, it's not because I take anti back it's because I don't have time to get sick, okay? So take care of your business, stop whining about why you didn't get this opportunity or that opportunity, it's on you, save yourself.